This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them things, see them analyzing that data. I did a video yesterday where I said that Ken Griffin Citadel could be made off 2.0. And even though I knew a little bit about Madoff, I didn't have the full depth of, of, of what he did. And after watching that Netflix special, I mean the entire series or mini series, whatever you want to call it, I've come to the conclusion, and this is just my opinion, that Ken Griffin Citadel is a lot worse, a lot worse than Madoff. People say that Madoff stole 64 Point eight billion dollars, but according to that miniseries, he really only stole nineteen billion, and I'm I'm not saying nineteen billion to make it seem like a small number, but the sixty four billion that he's accused of stealing the 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 value of the Ponzi scheme was alleged profits that he told his investors was in their account. So in reality, they gave him nineteen billion dollars. And what would that be? Forty-five billion of it was supposed to be profit that was never there. All he was doing was just making fake statements and uh, <laughs> doing trades the next day, like 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 they say in, in the movie, betting on the horse race after the horse race. But here's why I think, and in my opinion, Ken Griffin's Citadel is a whole lot worse. We're talking $19 billion for his entire scheme over 20 years, or well, probably since the 60s, it's probably longer than that. But here's how Ken Griffin and Citadel is a lot worse. Ken Griffin and Citadel have over $65 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased. Okay, so... Just that one, one, just that one incident surpasses Madoff's entire Ponzi scheme. Because we all know that that's a Ponzi scheme. How rich can you possibly be if you can sell $65 billion worth of stuff and never have to buy it? And you're sitting on that $65 billion in cash. And you're saying that's profit. And then you're, you're telling your shareholders and you're, you're telling the world that you're up all these billions of dollars. And you're not taking account that 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 65 billion is old. It's old. But you don't put it in your balance sheet. And what's worse about it is Citadel estimated the value at 65 billion. And this is just one set of transactions. This is just one set of transactions. And, and think about all the buying pressure that Citadel took out the market by just selling shares that didn't exist. Think about the buying pressure from AMC. Think about the buying pressure from GME. Think about the buying pressure from Spy, from QQQ, from Apple, from Tesla. Who knows What's in that portfolio? Well, I won't even call it a portfolio. Who knows what's in that debt trap? That debt trap. Okay? And they say it's $65 billion. It could be a whole lot more. So as far as I'm concerned, after watching, watching that Madoff documentary, Ken Griffin Citadel is going to be a lot worse Ponzi scheme than Madoff. Anyway... Please leave some comments and tell me what you think. If Madoff only really took $19 billion from his clients and in one set of transactions, Ken Griffin Citadel has $65 billion in shares sold, not yet, per not yet purchased. Who do you think is running the biggest Ponzi scheme? Madoff or Ken Griffin? Please leave some comments. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.